Welcome to another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. My name is Purcell and I am sitting in my 2015 Model S Tesla. And I am in my car the day before I drive down to the service center for a major upgrade. And my major upgrade is switching out the main control unit one or MCU one to MCU two. In all honesty, I've had this car since 2015, close to six years now. And have I really detected a problem with my main control unit? Uh, it's beginning to show a little chinks in the armor. And what I mean by that is internet in this car is absolutely null and void. It's not happening. I mean, if you touch the internet symbol, it will just show you a white screen and it will spin, spin, spin. If you try to get information from the owner's manual, basically the same thing. You can do a hard or a soft reset by pressing, depressing the buttons here on the steering wheel. And then eventually it will come up and you can you can read some of the information, but it is terribly slow. The one thing I can say that my screen has turned off twice in uh, five years of ownership. One, I was um, backing out of my driveway and it just turned off and it freaked me out. And then the second time I was actually driving and it turned off and then it reset and it came right back on so i'm beginning to feel a little uncomfortable with the old mcu one so i decided to get the new mcu two so in making this decision and speaking with uh, my good friend and head chief techie guy of all things tesla mr casey green he suggested that i should take photos of every single setting i have just in case and all of the settings that you had are defaulted. If you just go down here and touch your uh, Tesla car button, this screen will pop up. And what I did was I took photos of every single setting that I had on my car. But the most important thing that uh, he told me was take photos of your locations because you may lose your address. Some of your addresses that are in your computer. So I've had my car since 2015. I cannot tell you how much information I have through here. I have close to four and a half years of places where I've been. So I don't want to lose those. So that was a great idea that Casey came up with. And I really appreciate him reminding me to do that because just in case something goes wrong, I don't know if Tesla can retrieve that data, but you know, I think I should also have it as a backup as well. And MC1 going to MC2, you will lose AM and FM. I have a lot of my music on USB, and plus I also stream down here. You will lose those functionalities once you cross over to uh, MC2. So I am really excited to see what MC2 offers me. I don't have all of the bells and whistles like all of the sentry mode and things like that, but it will be kind of interesting to see what type of uh, new screens will I get? What type of functionalities will I get? I've read about them, but it's also nice to see them and actually play with them. I'm really super excited because I have redid my audio system. Like I told you before, I'm an audiophile and I think I have a great audio system in here. Not just the speakers, but I have a digital sound processor in the back. I have an amp and I have a subwoofer back there. And the sound here is amazing. Everything is tuned to the front seat. If you're driving down the road, it sounds like someone is singing dead center of the console there and it's more angled towards you not over there it's not dispersed it's very narrow focus so i'm really interested to see how netflix sounds i'm really super hyped for that so that's it for now and i'll keep you abreast of what's happening after i get my new mcu 2 in here and i just hope it works well so thank you for watching another edition of don't waste your time this video may not be for you peace